what's up everybody welcome back to my channel today we're doing a q and a i really am just in the mood to lay in bed and chat with you guys um i feel like i haven't been as in touch with you as i would like to be the last few weeks because school and life have just been so crazy and chaotic and i feel like i just can't get on top of everything like there's always something that needs to be done and I'm kind of losing touch of like that connection with you guys, that engagement aspect where this feels like a community and you feel like my family and I hate that and if I feel that then I imagine some of you feel that and I never want it to be like here are the clothes I'm buying, buy this, wear this, let's talk about that. Like you know, I'm, I'm a real person too and I want to have that real person connection so that's what we're doing today. I asked you guys over on Instagram to leave me questions. My Instagram style by McKenz. You guys can go follow me if you are not already so that you can be a part of the next q a and actually victoria paris on tiktok is who inspired me to do this i watched like a 45 minute unedited q a from her and she just has so much wisdom if you don't follow her on tiktok she's awesome she's gained like 900,000 um, followers in the last like four months and she's just so real raw and open and about everything and i just love her perspective on things and I find myself feeling like I share a lot of the same thoughts and stuff, but I never voice those things with you guys. Like, I talk about the same things over and over and, like, show you my everyday routine, which, yeah, is great and fun and curated, but, like, sometimes I just want to talk, you know? So that's what we're doing today. We're talking, okay? So, starting off, these are, like, some deep questions, some normal questions. There's, like, everything. First things first, how old are you and how tall are you? I am 19 years old. It's April 28th of the day I'm filming this, exactly one month from today. I will be 20, which is insane. I'm really excited for my 20s. I feel like you have a lot of growth in your 20s. Such a transformative period. Like I could have kids and be married after, you know, in my 20s, which is crazy to think. Um, so I'm excited. And I, 19 has felt like the longest year of my life. So I'm excited to say goodbye to it. And I am 5'2". She also asked how tall I am. Do you smoke weed? No, never have. Probably never will. N no shade to you if you do, but just not my thing. Um, if your personality was a state, what would it be? So this is kind of hard because I haven't really been to that many states. I would say Georgia, like well, that's the first thing that comes to mind, but I've never been to Georgia, so I don't really know why I think that. But something that's energetic and full of life has a city aspect, but also has a suburb aspect because I'm like a very extroverted introvert. I love to be by myself when I get work done, but when I'm not working, I want to be with someone 24 seven. So I don't know. I have no idea. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live and why? So I would stay in the United States personally. I am eager to travel outside of the US, but at the same time, like I really don't have any desire to like live out of the country. I think maybe when I study abroad in Florence, fall 2022, maybe my mindset will be a little different. But as of right now, um, I would stay US. I mean, if I could live anywhere, I would like a place with the opportunities of New York City but with the vibe of like easy wraparound porch kind of living, like North Carolina, uh, South Carolina, Nashville, Georgia, Atlanta, you know, like um, Austin, Texas. Those are places that I'm thinking about for post-grad life, but I've also never been to a lot of them. So hopefully this summer will be transformative. I love Charleston. Charleston to me is like perfect, but the weather, it's just so freaking hot. I can't get past that. So I don't know. What do you do with all the clothes that don't fit you and stuff? Um, I pass a lot of my clothes down to friends, to roommates, like whatever. The girls that help me take my pictures, Olivia and Lauren help me a lot. Those are my roommates from last year. My roommate Emily is a little bit bigger than me. Um, I also lived with Griffith first semester and I have a couple other friends that help me take pictures here. Usually the people that take my pictures are the people that I like will give clothes to first just because they're obviously helping me. I do not pay my friends to take my photos. I also get that question a lot. They do it out of the kindness of their heart, which I so appreciate. They really are what keeps me going. I pick up their coffee tab. I'll buy them a drink, like, you know, like random things here and there. Um, but no, I don't pay them like a flat fee when they help me, but they do get a lot of clothes from me. So I'll do that first. I bring a lot of things home to my sister too. And then whatever else I'll either put on Poshmark. My Poshmark is, I think it's Style by McKenz. And then my closet account, Style Buys Closet 2. I'll be doing a closet sale in May. Um, I try to, you know, do that as well. Donate things. I bring a lot of things to... Um, we have like a pickup, like a local pickup that comes once a month in our neighborhood. And so I'll put a lot of bags out and donate that way. Or we have a local consignment store where we are, where you bring in, she, I think it's the split is 40, 60. So you get 40% of the sale. She gets 60% of it. I like to do that as well. So honestly, 
I like to spread it out. How do you do college without your twin? Mine transferred and I don't know how to deal with it. So my sister and I are really close in the sense that we've done a lot together our whole life, but we've never been someone that like gossips about boys and kissing and like who we are with. Like we don't really do that. We never have been like that. Um, and so we lack that best friend aspect. Madison is very much my comfort. Like she is a security blanket to me, but we've never, ever, ever been those kind of sisters that are like, cannot survive without each other. Actually, when we went, when we moved to college, I think we were both really ready to be apart. I think we really needed time to grow on our own and we weren't in the best place when we left for school. We've gotten over that thankfully and quarantine was wonderful for us. We got so much closer, we really bonded and we kind of grew our relationship in a way that was really beautiful um so to me like I don't like I, I don't even know how to answer this because I could be like oh like there's things like FaceTime you can call them every day text them whatever I maybe call my sister maybe once every two weeks we don't talk on the phone we don't text today I texted her and said hey can you refer me for a credit card like we don't text it and then the day before that the text before that was um hey you have to call the doctors I can't schedule your appointment for you like we don't text and be like how was your day and I think that makes it like to some people that's really weird but we're just not that kind of a sister and it makes it so that when we are together we have so much to talk about and I really do believe in distance makes the heart grow fonder so good luck assist because I know it's hard um, your biggest regret so far? I don't really have any regrets. Like, that's what people always say. I mean, I definitely have regrets, I think. I think there's always something you can regret. Small things all the time. My biggest regret, I think, probably is not starting Style by McKen sooner. I know I started when I was a freshman in, in high school, so it's kind of like, how much sooner could you have started? It's not so much I wish I would have started before the age of 14. It's just that I wish I would have placed more confidence and had more pride in knowing that I was good at this. Like, you know, like I'm good at this. And there's no shame in realizing, recognizing that you're good at something and wanting to share that word with other people. I wish I had had more confidence in myself. I wanted to ask you when sorority recruitment for this upcoming year at Kent State is. I believe that recruitment is, uh, I can look. It's like September, I need to pull up the calendar, hold on. September 17th, 18th, and 19th, and then the following weekend. So like the weekend of the 18th, 19th, and then the 25th, 26th, I think. Fashion week is the 10th through the like 15th, and I will hopefully be going to New York Fashion Week in September. I went um, in the February of not this past February, but the February before that. So my freshman year of college, it was awesome. I would have gone to Fall Fashion Week if it hadn't been canceled. Um, and this spring you know but both were canceled due to covid so it's gonna be busy because i have like i move into college and then i have a wedding the next weekend and then fashion weeks the next weekend and then we have two weekends of recruitment but i'm excited what is one of the biggest misconceptions you think people have of you i think it's so easy to watch my videos and think that my life is so put together and it's always it's always productive and it's always this and like i that, that couldn't be further from the truth. Like I choose to show you the 15 minutes of the day that I want to show you. Newsflash, there are 24 hours in the day and I don't even vlog 24 minutes in a day. So you see what I choose for you to see. Like I'm obviously not gonna show you when I'm sitting there crying over a boy that just screwed me over or when someone likes my friend, you know, more than me and it didn't work out or like, when I failed a test that I really didn't study hard enough for. Like, I'm not gonna show you guys those things all the time because frankly, no one wants to sit here and watch me complain and stuff like that. But like, life is not always what you think it is. And I go through just as much anxiety and struggles and stress and real raw emotions that you do. And I wish people recognized that more. I also think a lot of people think that I live this really prissy, like, like high maintenance lifestyle and that's really not me at all I love clothes I love makeup but like I'm a very simple girl at heart I'd like to think um granted I do care about those things they're obviously a huge part of my career but I do this because I love it and at the end of the day like I would like to think that like I'm pretty easygoing and 
I don't put as much value on those things as you think I do. I value my career, I value the clothes I get sent, I value the platform that I've built, but my worth is not determined by those things. What do you feel most proud of? This platform, like 50,000 people is actually insane. And I someone commented the other day and was like, you care so much about numbers, like why? Like I wish you didn't care so much about numbers. Like, I'm allowed to celebrate in whatever way that I want to. Like, I want you guys to know that. I am so grateful for 50,000 of you because that's 50,000 people. Yeah, it's exciting when you reach a new 10,000, like a new 10K, even a 1K, even a 100. Those are all exciting to me, and I, I choose to celebrate those because it's not celebrating 50,000. It's celebrating... 50,000 people that I've impacted and made a difference on their life and like I've touched them enough to want to stick around and to me those relationships like that means literally everything and that is why I choose to celebrate the way I do and make something fun of it because I'm proud of myself but more than anything I'm proud that like you guys got me here if that makes sense and 50,000 people would be if more than my entire college was subscribed like I can't even imagine meeting 50,000 people like I can't even fathom what that like you know what I mean that's so many and so it's not about numbers it's about number of lives and number of lives is a number so you know I guess I do in a sense what was my favorite television show as a child my favorite tv show as a child Hannah Montana, definitely. I was definitely more of a Disney person. What is your favorite quality about your closest friend? I have a lot of close friends here, and my favorite quality about Lauren is that she is very, she catches on to social cues, like, very easily. She, like, if someone is upset about something, she instantly recognizes that and will reach out to someone and be like, you know, I can kind of tell that's bothering you. And I just feel like she picks up on that so easily. She reads people very well, I feel like. And I've always felt like I kind of read people well too. And so we balance each other very well in that aspect where, I don't know, I feel like we can be open and honest in all those things. My roommate Emily is like literally the most selfless person ever. She never puts herself first. She's always thinking about the greater good of other people, but in a way that she still knows when to be selfish and take time for herself. But like, she genuinely is so excited about my moments and my successes, which means so much. Olivia is just so carefree. Like she has such a wild spirit and such a childlike I don't I don't even know how to describe it but like she always has fun like she's not worried about what other people think she just she's the life of the party but like in the best way possible and I wish that I could let go and like have that carefreeness as much as she does um my littles are the best too um Logan is literally the most beautiful person inside and out like she truly just has such a heart for everyone else and like she's coming up tonight she's driving an hour to come to dinner with me for 50k like she was like oh I'll come up for the night like didn't even think twice about it didn't hesitate she was like I'll definitely be there and I was like it's kind of a random like it's a Wednesday like I don't know if you're gonna be free she was like I'll be there if I can spend the night um like I know this is important to you whatever like that's everything Sophia she oh my gosh I love that girl to death the day I met Sophia I knew that we would be friends forever she just we vibe so well with one another we have personalities that complement each other in a very very contagious way I feel like we kind of have this energy that we spirals off of each other and we have so much fun when we're together what is your advice on how to start a fashion blog slash instagram when there is so much info slash advice out there so i have a blog post on this and i will leave it linked down below i also have a youtube video and i highly recommend checking both of those out because they are literally jam-packed full of information um so much like so much information but this is where I want to talk about Skillshare. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. They are literally the best online learning platform. I use them for a lot of different things. Um, you can take photography classes, web design, productivity tips, art, all these different things. 
they make it so easy to do so you sign up for a monthly subscription and you are able to access all different kinds of classes right at your fingertips they are the best i will leave a couple of my favorite classes linked down below but they have a lot of courses that can help you kind of get started in the influencer marketing kind of world especially if you do want to grow your platforms i will leave like i said my favorites linked down below for you guys it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription and the first 1,000 people that click my link in the description bar will get a free trial of Skillshare. They are the best and I highly recommend them to you guys if you are someone who is looking to break into the industry and wants some tips. I also always get asked in every Q&A how I stay so productive. They have a productivity masterclass that I like literally have watched time and time again it is so good and it's full of tips based on like law and procrastination and how your mind really controls what you get done so i highly recommend them so um next up where is the big mirror from in your living room it's from walmart and then the big black one in my bedroom is from target what is something that is frustrating about your job? Mm, it never turns off. It's my favorite and least favorite thing about it. I love that I don't work normal nine to five, but at the same time, like there's no off button for when, like social media is 24 seven all the time. Granted, you don't have to post 24 seven, but someone has an opinion about you all the time. And frankly, um, this kind of goes off the next question. Do you actually not care what people think or do you fake it till you make it? Um, I'd like to think that I don't care what people think, but I definitely do. I have always been a people pleaser like my whole life. And so it's not so much I care what other people think, but it's I put, I want people to see me for who I really am. And obviously that's not always the perception that people get. And I want to be seen as this hardworking driven girl that is productive and is passionate and is happy. But the reality is, you know, there's a lot of other things that go into it. So in a sense yeah i'm faking it till i make it aren't we all right like i try to do q a's like this because i want you guys to see that like there is more to it but at the same time you know um i think we're all just kind of trying to get by in that sense okay next up any advice on being nervous at a new job and how to be confident so I'm kind of a bad person to ask about this because I really never had a real job. Um, I worked retail, I interned for a semester and then I just started working there like 15 hours a week for one summer and it was super chill. I did a lot of styling mannequins, checking sizes, um, packaging up people's orders, not orders, but like they would come into the store and buy something and I would like pack package up their purchase. Um, Kind of putting displays together i would do a lot of the paint on the windows and stuff like that so i don't really have all that much experience when it comes to starting a new job i mean this job is obviously my job but i haven't started in a while but be confident in your own skills and don't be afraid to ask for help you obviously are not going to know everything when you get into your workplace and it says a lot about the kind of employee you are if you're able to stop and recognize that and say hey i don't know how to do this and i need help because i want to be a better employee i want to better myself and really be um you know the service to you that you hired me for so i think that's really important as far as confidence goes wear something that you feel good in what you wear really and how you look um really does fuel how you feel about yourself and how other people perceive you um and then at the end of the day you know confidence it can be faked like it, it can if you start faking that you're confident eventually you'll become confident it's really that simple how you talk to yourself is so important and i'm not always the best i mean i will sit here and tell myself you're a piece of shit and i'll be like you know fueling myself with these negative thoughts some days and i'm like this dictates your life like this controls everything so why stop stop doing that you know what i mean if you ask yourself oh what if this works out as much as you say oh it's not going to work out it will probably work out you know what i mean so that has nothing to do with obviously the question about starting a new job but I do mean it in that case, like start being more conscientious, start being more conscientious of how you are speaking to yourself. If you wouldn't say the things you say to yourself to someone else, perhaps it's time to, you know, switch that up. Accessory that you couldn't live without. This little gold M necklace that I have on right now, it's super, super dainty. I wear it literally every day. It's from the Silver Heron on Instagram. Connor's mom gave it to me 
almost three years ago and I wear it all the time. It's on a real gold chain so it hasn't tarnished at all and I shower in it, I sleep in it, I do everything in it. Honestly, like there's nothing super special about it. Like it's just a little M and I've never really been someone to just wear their, like feel the need to wear their initial but I think it's because it's so dainty and so small that that's what makes me like it. So I love it. Um, do you ever feel too overwhelmed with school and the blog and YouTube? Honestly, yeah. I am really, really ready for this semester to come to a close. Like I said, I felt really out of touch with you guys recently. I felt like I really haven't been taking as much time to just like connect with all the new people that are coming to my channel. It's just like hauls and stylings and the same routinely vlog. And obviously I chat with you guys throughout those videos and stuff, but like I want to build that connection with you guys. I want to talk about things that matter to you and I want to be someone that you guys can really lean on and I want to be able to respond to all your comments and your DMs and I want to be able to do it the day of instead of a week later. And that can be really hard when, you know, like still being in school because on top it's not just being in school like it's classes and it's seeing your friends and it's engaging with your roommates and it's sorority stuff and it's going to the sporting events and um while I love all of those things don't get me wrong I love my friends I love going to baseball games I love going out to dinner with you know my littles and stuff like that it always like there are some weeks where it feels like you have to do this like it's so formula formulaic is that even how you say it for it's such a formula that it's like you're kind of stuck in this like constant never-ending thing and I'm a very routinely person I do not do well with spontaneous plans really at all but um I'm looking forward to summer because I really need some time to relax and just kind of step away from that um while yes it does give you so much balance and I'm so glad that I'm able to tend to all of those things I also feel that sometimes I overdo it and I don't really know when to say no to people and I always want to say yes and I feel like I have to hang out with those three people and I have to see everyone once a week and I have to go to this game to support someone and I have to be at the sorority event because it's required that I very rarely take a step back and take the time for myself. Um, I put a lot of other things ahead of that and um, that's not necessarily super healthy I need to start prioritizing myself a little bit more and that's something I really want to work on so yes I do feel overwhelmed with it all a lot of times but at the same time I wouldn't trade it for the absolute world and I don't want you guys to think that this is me complaining I love what I do so much and I would not trade this platform for anything like literally anything but um it does get to be a lot sometimes and I'm looking forward to this summer and just not having school on top of it. I love my classes. I love my fashion merch major. Um, I really do use everything that I learn in class pretty much the very next day here on um, YouTube and on my blog and stuff. Like it's all stuff that I can almost implement immediately. But um, you know, like I'm not going to be disappointed when I don't have an essay and a midterm to study for and a project to complete all in the same week. You know, am I dating anyone? No. Um, I haven't had a boyfriend in like years. What is your zodiac sign? Gemini. What is your favorite color to wear? My favorite color to wear is probably white, but my favorite color is yellow. Um, is everything, if everything goes as planned, what will your life look like in 10 years? God, I have no idea. I've never been one of those people that like dreams about their wedding and says, I'm going to be married at 23 or I'm engaged at 23, married at 25, kid at 26. I've never been one of those people. I very much kind of go off of my mom. My mom, um, got married when she was 30 and had us when she was 32 and she really lived her life fully in New York City did her whole job, then met my dad, then moved to the suburb, kind of settled down, but she really lived those crucial 20 transformative years on her own. Don't get me wrong, obviously she had, she saw people in between, but I think that she has really set an example for me in the sense that like I am perfectly capable on my own, which is so going off topic of the 10 year plan. But like I, my 10 year plan is whatever God says is my 10 year plan. Like I trust that everything is going to fall into place the way it's supposed to. I always tell my friends, they're like, oh, but like I want to get engaged to my boyfriend and do this and that. And I'm like, your life decides those things for you. You know, like you could meet the love of your life tomorrow and end up moving across the country. And then guess what? All your plans are thrown out the window. So like, I'm not really someone that kind of buys into that. No shame if you do. 
but 10 years from now I imagine I probably am married and have a kid and live somewhere in the suburb and I'm probably higher up in my career or I would like to be but um I don't plan that out you know I'm not one of those people how are you so confident when making videos like I said fake it till you make a baby but at the same time you know if you don't like me you don't like me and I wish I felt that way about my personal life. I really don't struggle with that on YouTube. Like if you don't like someone that you're subscribed to, why leave a mean comment? Just unsubscribe to them. In my personal life, if someone doesn't like me, I'm like, oh my gosh, why don't they like me? How can I convince them to like me? How can I be better? Um, am I doing something wrong? Like I feel like I offended this person. Like I really, really, really struggle with the people pleasing aspect in my personal life. But when it comes to YouTube and videos, um, Confidence attracts confidence, you know, and I want to attract people that are passionate and driven and like-minded So if you are like that this the right people You know those people will come and I always tell people the right people come at the right time And when it comes to your viewers like you can have zero subscribers for six months and then one day gain 10,000 and it's because Your the timing was right for those people to join you why do you promote more fast fashion brands like Shein Forever 20 Run rather than thrift? So the reason why I don't thrift on top of what I do is because I have so many clothes. Like I do not buy clothes at all. Um, I've maybe spent $100 on clothes this entire year and it's already April. Um, I do not purchase things because I'm already given such an influx of things for videos, for sponsorships as PR that it, I don't need anything more. So I don't want to buy anything more even if it is thrifted. I donate to lots of thrift stores and I will donate to consumers assignment like I said um but yeah I'm also obsessed with suede brooks and victoria paris I could literally listen to them all day same I like I love victoria are you intimidated by finding a job post-grad all while continuing in social media no because I trust that if I am supposed to do this full-time then that door will open and I also trust that if I'm supposed to get a job out of college like a real job I will um and I, I think that that's all going to really play out in the next year or so, like depending on where I intern after I study abroad. I really, maybe it's because I'm so anxious about it, but I'm really trying to place my trust in the fact that it will happen when it's supposed to happen. Um, least favorite class of the semester, definitely fundamentals and media messages. Such, such a pain in the butt. Do you think you and Connor will get back together? If Connor and I are supposed to get back together later down the line, then we just will. Again, that's something else that I just trust. If it's supposed to happen, it will. Um, do we plan on getting back together? No, not as of right now, but you know, if it happens, it happens. Breakup slash moving on advice. Stop caring what other people think. Stop listening to your friend saying you should block him. Stop listening to the other friend that says, go sleep with someone else three days later. Stop listening to the friend that says you should talk every day. Stop listening to what everyone else says. If you think that you should still communicate, then you should still communicate. If you think that you should block them on everything because it's better for your mental health, then that is what you should do. Um, it is really no one else's business what you choose to do with a breakup rather than yourself. And that's why I really didn't talk about Connor and I in our previous relationship ever on my channel was because I frankly don't care what you think. Um, and I know that sounds really, really harsh and blunt to some people, but like our relationship is our business. Um, that, that's kind of how it is with all relationships in reality but especially with guys like that's my business and it's really personal and at the end of the day like there are still some things I like to keep private you know because you know people want to keep things private and it's my life my choice what to what to share with that um but the reason why I don't want other people's opinion is because Every situation is unique to you and that person. So just because you might have had a similar situation and this worked for you, it's not, you're not in the same situation and everything's circumstantial. So you need to do what's best for you and for the person and for your relationship, not what someone else says. Um, I think it's really toxic to kind of be in that mindset where you always are listening to like what someone says is best for you do what you think is best for you how do you handle the negative comments people can be awful to others some days I cry over it and sometimes I say f you because people who are unhappy with themselves feel the need to hate on other people so you know that should tell you everything 
advice for those in college who have never been in a relationship Oof, this is hard because like I said, I've only been in that one relationship. I'm not someone that like goes out and kisses random boys every weekend. I have never been like that. Um, I am very much like the girl best friend. That's kind of like the role I serve in a lot of my guy relationships, I guess. I'm never really like the girl that people are like, oh, like I wanna be with them. I'm more like, oh, like I like this girl. How do you think that I can get her to like me back? You know, um, and I have not had a relationship in college. So um, to that I say be you because like I said, the right people come at the right time and I trust that you should trust too that your timing is going to be right. There's really no shame in not having a relationship in college because the way I think of it is you can date someone all of college and they still might be the wrong person. Like that doesn't mean just because you're dating someone in college doesn't mean that you've found the one. I do think that it's important to, you know, say yes to dates. If someone asks you out, go out. What's the worst that could happen? You owe it to everyone to give them an hour of your time and just really get to know them. Like I love meeting new people. I wish more people asked me on dates. I think dating's really fun. My like, I, I love to go out to dinner and talk to people. My friends, my guy friends, like you know i think that we should do more of that as a whole as a society but regardless guys that is going to be all for today's q a i've been talking for like 40 minutes now i'm going to try to edit this as minimally as possible because i want to just like a one take like this is real this is raw this is me so hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more of these let me know down below and we can kind of you know maybe we'll set up like a monthly schedule for these but in the meantime that is going to be all make sure you follow me on instagram so you don't miss out on the next one and i will talk to you later this week for a college week in my life peace out girl scouts